Uh, as we continue to look at journeying farther uh, into deep space, one of the more important things that's uh, going to have to be a reality for crews is to be able to grow their own foods. Well, the good news is uh, that's already actively happening on board the space station. Uh, Lori Meggs uh, out of the Payload Operations Integration Center at the Marshall Space Flight Center uh, reporting that by this time next week station crew members will be eating lettuce uh, that they grew on the space station in a unit appropriately called veggie. This is going to be the first food ever grown, harvested, and then eaten in space by our U.S. crews. She spoke with Paul Zamparelli uh, with the company that developed Veggie to find out more. We grew uh, its first um, crops, uh, as you can say, red lettuce. Um, that was harvested and brought down on SpaceX uh, to get it analyzed. Um, for uh, microbials and, and any kind of impurities that may have um, attached itself from the main cabin. What's, they couldn't you, eat it. They had, you had right. To well, what's first. unique about this is that it's an open air, and it's the first open air uh, vegetable garden up there to grow food. And as you can imagine, there's things floating in the air, and it's unknown exactly um, if, if it was edible. But... That through, is good news. That, that is good news. The good news is it is edible. And um, so we are and have a thumbs up by, by NASA to be able to grow and let um, the astronauts use it as a dietary filler uh, for future things. So. Hugely important to the future. Correct. Yes. Because yeah. we've got to be able to grow our own food to go farther. Correct. Yeah. I mean, we all started from plants. So this is how we intend moon, Mars in the future, a uh, long duration space to survive. What have you heard feedback from astronauts who, who got to actually grow the stuff? Oh, they loved it. And in fact, um, uh, when they came back here and they did their speeches, it was a lot on veggie. Um, veggie is something that is very you know, wholesome and good and, and fun. It was a lot of fun for them to tend to the garden um, and tend to the plants. It turned out very well. On the first flight, we did put extra, uh, NASA flew up extra uh, red leaf lettuce and flowers. So uh, right now with the crew time, they're going to start uh, engaging in that, growing the, the lettuce again and uh, flowers, and we hope to get some very good. Uh, one of the things with the flowers I may point out um, is that they're going to uh, see how the flowers pollinate uh, within a zero gravity um, uh, state and 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 study that, which is very important as well, um, because of the pollination with for fruit and future things that, that really need to happen. Will they get to eat this lettuce since you've already gotten it approved, or will it have to I come think back? So I hope so. So I, th there's no reason not to. Now, what you learn up there will that help me with my garden? It will, and it already has. And and the the goodness that all of this is coming from. I'm working with countries like Dubai, who have uh, the problem of um, importing almost 95% of all their fruits and vegetables because of the horrendous heat and environment for growing things there. So what we're doing is we're working with them, taking these same type units like veggie and burying them into the sand. Big, huge warehouses that they can then use the abundance of sun using solar. They have abundance of water but it's controlled environment and they can start supplementing just like the space station's going to do.